things, but it's not by any means required by law or anything for you guys to be there. Um, Would that work better for you, Dave? So daytime hours, or morning, but um, daytime hours usually people are working and it's hard to get. Have you ever did them on like a Saturday? I have. Um, it just really depends. Like, you know, sometimes like the, the, the only like weekend events that I've done have been like in conjunction with like a festival going on where we set up a master plan booth sort of thing um, but I don't know how exciting and exciting and willing people would be not at it. What about the night of the board meeting? Those are typically shorter. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to have the same conversation before the board and a while ahead. Maybe So, I mean, typically, in a situation like that, I would just ask you guys to be more of a listening ear. I don't think that I, like, unless you have something you would like to say to the community or present to the community, of course, I have no issue with that. But more often than not, you guys are just kind of, would be there to be spectators and, and listen to what community members have to say. And, and Are you people at the door? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, not even really that. I. Usually they're pretty casual. People just kind of walk in, and as people are walking in, like if I see a group of people walk in, I'll go over and say, "Hey, here's what we're doing tonight." You know, I'll tip. I'll probably ask a colleague to come with me. So if there is a bunch of people, then there will be two of us that are kind of well versed in the process. Um, so, so is this more your show versus our show? If you guys are okay with that. Yeah, that's always. Okay. Um, I'm just, I'm just yeah, because I, I wouldn't expect you guys to like have to come up with all of this like okay. logistics. Okay. I mean, that's, that's why you guys are paying me, right? At least, like I said, one or two of us, you know, a couple people there just to kind of, you know, I can yeah. yell in and help get things organized. And, you know. That's yeah. fine, because you're going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to need potatoes. Need even potatoes. That's understandable. Mm -hmm. And you guys will, be fine. you'll be caught up to speed on what was talked about anyway, so. Don't sweat it. I, in my experiences, it's people come and go. <laughs> okay, good. Any other questions then, or I'll, I'll let that check it off. No, no, no. I um, that's pretty much what I have uh, for you guys this evening. Um, I think we have to start. Right? Yeah, I want to make one quick comment about the zoning map because something was said that I heard the other day. Board members say about our commercial district. Um, pretty much, 
side of the room, all being commercial. And I was looking at the map in our um, master plan. Does not reflect that at all. But the one I have in my zoning board does seem to reflect that for commercial. So I want to make sure that Danielle has the right. Maybe you do. I do see a big long red. Oh. That, that, that's the township. I think we have to refer back to the Arctis actual what it's owned to the county. Okay. We can have all the we can have all the wrong information here, but it's what it's owned to the county. Well, right? Or is it only to the township? Isn't a tax, isn't a tax classification? That's kind of different. We have to go off our zoning map, and I'm this says June 12, 2012. This is probably 2010. I just worry you're going to have mine. I've had to add commercial on mine. I never did receive. I yeah. so we might need to talk to uh, some of the board members. Updated. What do you have? <laughs> Now that looks that's similar to what I have. I here. think that's the same, just so a little bit color. From 2012, is that the most recent that we have? That's the recent one I have. So, are there going to be a bunch of new variances? No, no. I just I was starting to look at this master plan. I'm like, hey, this is a so as long as you're working off that one, I guess we'll feel comfortable with that probably. And then we can well, I, I did reach out asking for a zoning map because I couldn't find one online and I was hoping to do like in part base the existing land use map on the zoning map and all of the documents together. Um, so this is helpful to know that you guys have one. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. Um, is this is just a bottom up to yes. say 2012? Mm -hmm. Anything else for Danielle? Nope. So she's going to um, revise the questions, get uh, a quote on print screening. But I'm going to give I'm going to give you that link to where you would look up the number of addresses that are available, okay. right. and then you can get it priced. Yep. Because if that doesn't happen, <laughs> plan, like you said, uh, pivot a little bit on the open house. Yep. Yep. Well. So I will email over the questions when they're revised, and if you wouldn't mind distributing them to the group. Yep, she sent me that uh, paper plan that when you get back, and then okay. she can forward that to you. Oh, thank you. Do you have extra copy of those or something? This seems perfect. Do you have copy? Yeah, I've got one on my, in the front of my book. I just run another copy. I appreciate it. Okay. Set there then? Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, new business. Um, some of you are at the um, board meeting in February, February 6th. Um, and this is what I went over with them as far as the staffing that we're fully staffed um, last year as far as we had eight meetings six of those were scheduled we had a couple special meetings um, worked on the website worked on like doing the ordinance uh, those are breakdown of the permits that we that um, were given last year so there's still some growth out there and then we'll talk a little bit about uh, Danielle as far as that being approved and for us to move forward in 2022. Um, we have six meetings planned this year, you all know that. Um, our major focus is going to be on the master plan. We may have to add a couple, one or two special meetings because of the master plan, and we'll play that by year as we go on. Um, solar, um, I'd like to finish that this year. Um, the backup drive, um, I know that's going to be purchased. on that and uh, the board has approved the uh, compensation for the time invested into that open sale. We need to keep track of that, correct? Um, and as far as websites, more information to come, I think the, the website is um, 
continues to grow and, and be better for our residents. And then I just thought here in the noise. Um, uh, I, I still think we need to have something there. Probably should have had added, obviously, the, the blood for the police and the police talk about that. And then my ask from the board was, uh, I know they're gonna be meeting, talking about uh, the collection service here, here soon, right Dave? So um, I put that A on there, and then also I think we need to ask them about the technology update for this community center too, as far as for the for the health and the with the collection. Um, thank you guys. Thank you. Or I say, watch out for you. Oh, thank you. Um, and I think that'd make our all of our jobs even easier if we had some more te technology yeah. investment in the police center too. So questions? I mean, what would come on that for us? And I think you all know. Uh, any other new business? Public comments? Any other public comments? I don't can know. I chime in while wow, Danielle's still here, possibly? Is there any way you can consider keeping question 10, Tom, just because you're, you're in the middle of solar and wind is going to come back? Um, you know, they're a major township that's just waiting for a new board. That'd be a prime opportunity to get everybody's opinion on wind and solar. Um, but the biggest thing with that, so don't repeat and if you put wind and solar on it you're, you're going to get a good turn back um, but then you know that might be the focus of your open house i really don't know but i'm thinking you're about get people opinions asking both of the same question when it comes to utilities channel no not the same keep question it just solar. so that's what pine did and pine got a 30 percent return back two out of three were against it but one out of three supported it but if i filled out that survey it would came off that i supported industrial wind and solar um when theirs was just on wind but it, it depends on how the questions are worded. And you have to have a separation from residential and commercial in the questionnaire. Otherwise, everybody's going to assume nobody's going to be against somebody putting up, you know, green energy in their backyard. But when it, you know, that's different than a couple square miles of solar panels. Um, I would think this would be the great opportunity to get everybody's opinion. And then I didn't know if this open house, if that's going to be like a question and answer time, I'd assume. You guys are trying to get the public's opinion, your comments you know, that you didn't plan. get from the on the master plan. Yeah, but yeah, as far as what you did get from the yeah. survey, yeah. Um, but so. Danielle's driving it all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, she'll collect that data, I think, and, and compile it, and that'll be fed back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then the other thing is when you, you send out the surveys, I know Pine had to go through that where they had to get a committee to you know, oversee it so you didn't have one person filling out a hundred different surveys. Um, it does take time and money, but it's not something that will go to the board. It's just, just because you guys are doing it, but she'd be compensated for it. But, uh, no, but she's, um, she's doing it. Oh, she goes through all that? Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I guess that explains it's very serious. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think you heard her talk a little bit about that. She, I mean, if we did an email or an H or a I, I, ID? Well, she, if that if makes sense, she push for that. She goes a lot quicker. That's what you're saying, like, yeah, she'll take care of it. She'll, yeah. she'll she was doing the data acquisition. Yep. Okay. That's, her, that's her job. And uh, let's see. Um, the one in section 17 in the ordinance, it does have a specific breakdown for penalties. And it does say that after that first penalty, each non compliant day after the, the fine was paid can be an additional uh, penalty. So you yeah. need $500 a day if they're not compliant. And that, that's already in the zoning. Um, well, see, I usually know the next day. Even though it, it's time I could do that, I generally don't like to do that. Oh, no, so, I appreciate it, but yeah. I guess the, the mindset, instead of the thought that we got to go to the county to enforce this, we, we might already have the money. It's just the way we're doing it. Um, and See, I wonder, yeah. 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 I just wonder how, if the county could keep up with that. A couple of officers. <laughs> I are like saying the of cops having to be, you know, well, there's a complaint said something about uh, well, the, the, one of the officers was complaining about uh, tires on uh, Hillman, and uh, he said he should, he should be out there enforcing, you know, people breaking the law in other ways and not that. So, I don't know, they might be reluctant to doing it. I'm reluctant to enforce light and stuff sometimes, but. 
it's my job, so I guess it's their job. Any other well, it's a hard one because one we guys can the conversation later. Any other public comments? So I have one comment. I don't know if it's public. I did find the February. Oh. Um, <laughs> do you want me to read it real quick? Okay, it's uh, 6199 Bass Beach Drive. There was a variance from 15 feet to 10 feet. Now there's one here now that uh, I denied the permit. It's still in the process. I turned in a, a variance request, and that was for 11396 Hickory, and that's to have a denied a pole barn. Uh, it says for a pole barn. It must be that uh, it's either too large or I can set back. I can set back. Okay, I didn't write that down yet, but anyway, that's in the process right now. That's it. Yeah, I'll give you the next step. So, public comments are closed on uh, next meeting at May 10, 6 o'clock. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Matt. I, I just would like to say to you, Phil, I think. It, it's the planning commission that you can chime in too, Dave. I think the board kind of said they would like to see the, the planning commission come up with, you know, how they enforce this because Dave remembered somebody saying something and that person said they didn't and they paid a thousand dollars and we don't even have any record of who made these claims. And I think well, the person said you don't remember. Well, yeah, I, I, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, very valid point. I think someone we, else we'll, we'll, we'll come up with a form and a process. Yeah. 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 We did add the new business. Next. He does the complaint process, yeah. um, the farm definition, and also I went up to visit. Yeah. I, I just would like to see you guys handle that, Phil. We're going to so. that on new business. Okay. The term blight is huge. Well, there's a lot of things that Everybody could be held blight from what you read to me at the board meeting. I, I could go complain about everybody because it, it's it's really almost anything. I'll throw a cigarette butt down, it could be that. So. You have a pallet in your yard, that's a way that we can clean that up a little bit. We'll come to the actual standing definition and requirements for complaint. I think I got it on new business. Okay. I would just like to thank you guys for your time and energy.